people living in cities have more problems with uh, mental health. But I think it's something that we can improve and we can improve it through many ways. And one of the most important things actually it's for mental health is that people have green space. We know green space is extremely important. I think there are many benefits of green space on health. Now, mental health is one of them. I mean, that is one of the most important. What we see also in our studies that, you know, in areas where there is more green space, uh, people have a better mental health. They have less anxiety, less depression. And we think this is probably due to um, a reduction in stress and also restoration. For example, in studies that where people have uh, go for a walk in green space there's some activation of the area in the prefrontal cortex and that gets activated and that actually leads to better mental health study after study shows that life expect expectancy is much longer uh, for people living in greener areas with pregnant women uh, the babies are a bit heavier uh, what is in case a good sign we also starting to see is that the people have less diabetes less heart disease so there are many different benefits Fits. Also, of course, where you have green space, normally you don't have uh, high air pollution levels. And of course, also you cut often lower noise levels. And how can you ensure that everyone has access to it and have good quality green space? Is by spreading it all around the city. Looks like that we're building cities for cars rather than cities for people and I think we need to change that. So by reducing car use, by reducing infrastructure actually can increase green space. And you know when I talk about green space it's not thinking about like a park but also having green space like having trees in the streets. Sustainable housing, there are a number of cities that actually do this where they you know use the places where there were empty houses, tear them down and put in nice green spaces. Thank you.